I am Free King. What's up? Amber Lewis. Still got to change the name. What's up? I'm on that. La Day Love, how you doing? Miss Cap. JC the Goddess, Royal Blue Fire. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody, I want to come to you guys, okay? I want to make sure you get this. I'm, I'm I'm editing a video. Y'all let me put it in the queue. Sorry about that. All right. Oh. Everybody, I want to make sure y'all get this right, what I'm talking about. What's up, Emmy? So do y'all so the title of this video is called Red Light Special. Now I am, I tell you guys, I am, I, I you know what? Fuck it. I got to be real for what it is with me. So coming to you as your leading Southern folk magic practitioner, the king of the kings and always will be when it comes down to this Southern folk magic thing. Second to none. Second to none. I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to give it proper. Now, listen here, people. I want you guys to really pay attention to what I'm going to say and do what the fuck I say. If you don't take anything else, if you see me as a joke, you see me as a weird old coward, no good pussy nigga, I don't care. I don't care. Even if you don't like my channel, even if you don't like my my hair, even if you don't like nothing about me. What's the shit? Oh, oh, I will eat some watermelon, y'all. Don't mind that. All right. So no matter what you think of me spiritual community everybody who see this right here if you don't do anything come the next month starting april the first april the first you should start it now but it's best to start this practice april the first so i'm gonna i didn't want to title the video dead man light because i ain't want nobody to sit up there and be all weird as fuck but here here we go people Go to your Amazon bookcase store, Walmart, Target, whatever the fuck you got to do. Even them little scripts that the kids putting up in their room, lining the whole motherfucking studios mm -hmm. and shit. Make sure them bitches are red. From here on out, for the whole month of uh, April, you should start today. I got mine on in my room right now. I got my one in my bathroom right now where I be naked, exposed, shirts off, mirrors. I got my red light bulbs in there now. Go out and get your red light bulbs. Why, Banks? Why? Why should I do that? This is why you should do it. What did the government say that we're going to have an outbreak of right now? That they telling everybody to go and get treated for? I want to see who's paying attention. And I'm going to give you some facts behind it. I will wait because y'all ass is going to get this because I don't need you calling me Baron. This is the motherfucking problem. And uh, you should have listened. There you go. KL straight. Somebody watched the news. So people. And 
do your research. I'm the best at what I do. And I just took a nap. So I'm refreshed like a motherfucker. Refreshed. Add me some watermelon. Because I'm on this little fast thing I'm going on right now. And, it's, and I'm feeling good and sexy. Unbloated too. I will stand up and show you my cut V. But y'all can wait. But back to this. People, go get your red lights. Put them around your house. Put them next to your couch. Next to your bed. Please go get this. Let me tell you why. Did you know that that the, this measles thing is a demon through ancient history, throughout Mesopotamia, <gasps> throughout Asia, <gasps> throughout Africa? Oh my God! You mean to tell me, Baron, that the measles outbreak epidemic that the news is saying going on is created by a demon? An entity, a disease. But when you get to it, what stops? What what is this? What is this mythical demon? Like, hypothetical. This is all made up in my mind, imagination. This is a script. TikTok don't ban me. This is hypothetical. I'm just talking to y'all. Enjoy life. This is a movie script. So this is all fake information, fake news. TikTok don't ban me. You follow me, y'all? But if you do your history and you look at which entity is attached to measles, to which there is an outbreak in Chicago, about 10, 15 cases in Florida, <laughs> y'all, it, it's going to come clear in a minute. All over. Australia, China. So there's an outbreak of this measles thing that the news keep telling us, but nobody telling you how to do it other than getting medication and treatment, right? Well, here's your Southern folk magic practitioner taught to me by grandmama who was taught to her by her people, taught to her by the Chinese and Asians and all that other shit that came down from Mesopotamia. Get you a red light bulb. Decorate your house in red light bulbs. Get you some red silk curtains that can shine through. If you got lights in your thing, how about you get a silk curtain and tie it up around the ceiling? Put some thumbtacks up there. So when you turn on that light, it's red. Why? Because the entity that causes measles is afraid of the color red. Why would a deity be afraid of the color red? Now, let's get back into what I always tell you. I'm the former most teacher on this bitch. I'm tooting my horn. This is called dead man's light. What does measles do? Do mumps, spots and shit all over your body, canker sores all over your mouth and shit. It really fucks you up. Google the picture. It's a, it's a bitch. The demon can't get you. If you are bathed in red light. Now, don't let nobody tell you it's supposed to be a specific frequency of red light because we don't know that. Only thing we know that spirits can't see colors, but when everything turns out red, it blinds them. That's why you have Taurus the bull. If you're a Taurus, red should not be your color because it blinds you. It blinds you to anger. It blinds you to chaos. It just... How they say, oh, he saw nothing but red. You can't focus on anything else. You are not in control of your body, your consciousness, your mind. So red, so red light illumination around you is called dead man's light. What do you what do you use dead man light for, Baron? You use it to hide yourself from demons. What do we got coming up on April the 8th? An eclipse. Who's going to walk the earth in the dark ether? Demons, what the fuck you going to be having on your front porch, on your goddamn, in your house, in your bedroom while your kids sleep? A red light. People say, hey, let's do with the night light. You never, you never were supposed to use a regular halogenic light bulb in your baby's room. You always put a red light bulb right there. So let me get into it. As you go to my other True Spook channel, I've said this. So when my uncle ended up killing uh, his baby mama girlfriend... And we grew up, we had to sleep in that room that that lady died in, right? It was my grandma's house. She ain't finna 
leave the house because the bitch done got killed. That's that's where we at, family home, right? In order for us to sleep in there, because that lady was hunting us as kids, we would see her on the door, slumped down, screwdriver in her neck, blood popping out, but she would she would never move. We would have to open that bitch and move it to go to the bathroom, piss in the middle mm -hmm. of the night, shit in the middle of the night. But we, but my cousin would piss on himself, and I we would just be terrified to the next day with the pillow, with the cup over our head. We felt her energy in there. Grandma came in there and she screwed in the red light bulb at the top. She put the red light bulb in the wall. She got so ingenious, she took the Christmas lights, all red from Montgomery Wards, and put them in the closet up top. So even if we opened the closet and she could probably jump out and scare us down, she couldn't do it. Red light. This is, this is how I grew up. My daughter got red lights in her room. My son got red lights in his room. Right over my bed, I got red lights in that bed. If I'm screwing, I got that red light on. Dead man's light. If I'm sleeping and I feel like I need inspiration, I turn it on. Pay attention, people. I make this shit a little funny because I want you to get it. But understand, there's a entity that is walking around infecting people in these city, states, countries with the measles. No, that's the government doing that. That's mm -hmm. that shit. You're going to hypothetically say some shit like that, right? And you're going to put it on the man. You're going to put it on the industry. You're going to put it on the, the uh, on, a, on a company. But we need to get rid of thinking that flesh and blood is trying to destroy us because I don't think the measles just susceptible to one the human race or blacks or whites or whatever is going to attack everybody. You go around a bitch with measles and they sneeze on you, snot on you, piss on you, shit on you, put get semen uh, nut on you. Bitch, you got it. How do you prevent from getting it? Red light. Why, Baron? Because red light is afraid of red light. So here we go, people. You ever know when you go to these Reikis, these Reiki healers, and they'll have on the soft fucking music, and they'll have on the little, the little perfume and fragrance in the corner. You never see them turn on a red light when they massaging their people. And I always thought about that. So one of my Soul Tribe members paid for me to get a massage. Yeah. Yeah. Got the email. Baron, go over here to Shaka Shaka. That person lives so far away, but they researched mm -hmm. my area. Go over here. This date. Set it up. Cool. I walked in there with a light bulb in my pocket. I said, what you, what you want to do? I say, if I'm going to take off my shirt and you're going to lay hands on me, I say, could you screw this light bulb in there? If that's what you want, I say, I'll give you a tip. Don't worry. Screw the light bulb in there. Got me a nice hour and a half massage. Down to a facial too. Man, you touch, but did some facial shit. Never, my face never felt so fucking good. Get your massage, people. But listen, why, if somebody is touching my body, I'm exposed. I'm relaxed. My defense is down, and they're all up in them tissue muscles. They rub and put their elbows on you. <laughs> That, that brother, and it was a guy that did it. And that motherfucker got up in that motherfucker. I said, oh, bitch. <laughs> I, I, oh, bitch. I ain't know her elbow could go there and feel so good. That motherfucker was. <laughs> Supervised Jimmy Snick him while he got that muscle in it. Motherfucker thought I was crazy. When I left, they asked me, what was the red light bulb for? This is a Reiki practitioner. These are massage therapists. They didn't know their craft. I say, this keeps my demon separated from your spirit and vice versa. I say, this is called dead man's light, Southern folk magic. And whatever you're going through emotionally that day, I don't need your shit. And whatever I'm going through emotionally that day, you don't need my shit. So when you massage them demons out of me, they, they can't see you. They just ain't got nowhere to go. And then when you turn that light off 
and they out of the, your body, your situation, your circumstance, they disappear and dissipate. So let me help you here again. Let me help you here again. When you look at NASA, that entity, NASA say, if we're to go into space, people, Google it. I'm not making it up. If we're to go into space, human, because there is a space, so they say, if we're going into space, we need to have along the strip and the lining of our spacecraft, our International Space Station, mm -hmm. a red strip showing red light 90, 100 percent of the time because it heals the tissues and the molecules in the body. Red light don't heal a motherfucking thing. Sunlight do. Sunlight heals. The body reacts to sunlight. You know what reacts to red light? Spiritual entities. So why would NASA put all these red strips in their planes, their space shuttles, even when they go underwater, the submarine? Why is the submarine light red? Why when some shit blare off, some energy blare off, and every alarm system, what that bitch is, it turns red, right? Beep, 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 beep. You see them red flashing light. What the police got behind you? Flashing light. They try to calm it down with the blue. So it, it, it's kind of like alert, calm, alert, calm. That's where the blue come from. But the red is the bitch. They say any negative energy around me, I need you to go because I'm going into this situation. The blue is saying, let's keep the other person quiet because these are the only two lights that matter when it comes to the human brain. Not green, not yellow, not orange. Pay attention to how they do it. So if everybody, every government know that red light dispels demonic energy, dispels all of that shit because it, the technical word is dead man's light. Even the pukas on 54th and 7th Street, even the, 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 the red light district is right in the name. You go up there, you fucking that hooker. She got red light bulbs on. It don't mean that her period on, that she can only suck on you. It means that if we going to do this, I don't need to transfer. How you think a hooker could sit up there and suck and fuck for 20 fucking years and not be roughed up too bad down there? Because she ain't got them demons. You wonder that bitch been sucking and fucking forever. And she come and join the church, get saved, and she A-OK. -okay. But the motherfucker that just been fucking in the bed, had one husband all her life, then dealt with his drinking, fighting. For, she going crazy. She wilding out in the club now. Because them other demons that got on her ass. Pay attention, people. I'm trying to tell you something now. Back to the measles. You want me to Google it for you? I'll give you the name to the motherfucker right now. Right, let me Google it for you. Measles. Hold on. I want to type in here. The demon of measles, what is its name? Okay, Yoshi Fuji. That's on the internet. I'm not lying. Japanese measles print. This is a Japanese mythology. They ain't even gonna give you southern folk magic, but let's take it to the Japanese. Warding, hold on, warding off calamity in Japan. A comparison of the I want to read this for y'all. I want y'all to get it. Don't listen to me, listen to the internet. Oh, Google got way more experience than I do. Warning off calamity in Japan, a comparison of the 1855 catfish print and the 1862 measles print. Look at this right there. And they got this article in red. Red, read, and download. That's red. Wow. Real. Found it in 1862. I mean, 1683. Wow. This is amazing. I need to go. I need to start Googling this shit. I'm going to type in red light. Japanese history 
with the smallpox demon. So I just typed in here, Japanese history with the smallpox demon. That's an article, y'all, that popped up. I hope I ain't got no open porn sites up there, but that's what y'all see right there. <laughs> Japanese history with the smallpox demon. Measles or smallpox, right? They called it a demon. How do you get it in this article? Say, <laughs> don't do that to me, dang. Or a mix of science and century old Japanese history, although eradicated in 1980. That's when they fucked it up, right? That's when smallpox was eradicated. Smallpox created fear for centuries across the globe. The infection disease caused a fever, vomiting, sores, and skin rash it even led to bumps that would scab and leave scars all over the body the smallpox demons come from japan culture and believed to be so, uh, a source of all smallpox epidemic in japan in medieval times people would try to appease or attack the demon since there was no other source of reliable uh, reliable affected treatment According to records, smallpox was introduced. I ain't getting into the introduction. We done did that. I want to get to it where they talk about the red down this thing. Okinawa, Okinawa also has smallpox poetry. Motherfucker, really? Okay, here we go. So just so y'all can know that I ain't bullshitting. If y'all can see. The red treatment originated in European culture in the 12th century. It began when King Charles V of France contracted smallpox and was then dressed in red from head to toe. Queen Elizabeth, I could tell you this uh, style of treatment when she contracted smallpox is 15 some. She was wrapped in a red blanket and laid next to a live fire. Come on, people. Come on. Did my grandma tell me wrong? Did my grandma teach me wrong? Am I teaching y'all wrong? I ain't know Kathleen was in the military. I, don't, I wasn't, but. So people, that's, that's off the internet. So I'm going to ask you again. I'm looking at these comments because I'm cocky. I got to be cocky 2024, 2025. Am I telling you guys anything wrong? I want to see what Air Force. Go ahead. People, these, these Japanese had it on lock. Now, if the Japanese got it, the Native American Indians got it, the indigenous people got it, Africans got it. And the only way they had to come up to defeat this demon is by wearing red. And then my grandma tell me as a young boy, hey, son, I need you to always keep a red light bulb in your room. If you have company and they leave, turn on that red light bulb because you never know when the demons are lingering, when their spiritual shitholes are lingering. Before they come, have a red light bulb clicked on. Dispel all your demons. It's in my room. It's in the bathroom. Where you go after you get through screwing? Mm -hmm. Hanging out. They got to take a piss or shit. Got to wash it. Got to wash it ass. After you get through doing what you're doing, you got to hit that bathroom. That red light bulb right in there too. I'm not playing no fucking games. My kid got them in their room. I ain't playing no games. Y'all got that off the internet. So people, where I'm finna tell you right now, if you don't listen to shit I say, Believe in me for nothing. Don't care. Go out and get you some red light bulbs. Put them bitches around your house. If you want to get even gangster with this damn smallpox shit that's going on, measles and shit, wear you some red, baby. Wear your red necklace, red handkerchief, red jinx removal bag. I sell that bitch on my website, a shameless plug. Put on red. Get a red bandana, handkerchief, red underwear, women. Put them red panties on. They ain't got to be laced. I'm pretty sure they got cotton panties. Cover that thing up. Just pay attention, fellas. Red underwear. Red t-shirt under your shit. Do something. It's going to be uncomfortable. It get hot. 
But what's your spiritual soul compared to a little discomfort? Emmy, I'm going to wear all white under my clothes, but God damn it, I just put out everything red I got in there. I put out my red jumpsuit. I put out my red shirt. I put out my red bandana, and I ain't giving a fuck, and I hope ain't no game bangers out here in, in, in Central Florida because bitch, you're going to see me in red, so I might have to have a red too with me neck. Paint that bitch red because I'm firing back. I ain't no gang member, but bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be protected. Yes, wear the red put red in your house definitely put it in your house shit i'm trying to order right now and believe it or not you can only order on the website on the uh the thing but i want you can't go to the store and get the red light bulbs no more because i want to put it on my porch i want to put them on my porch i want to stop all that shit from coming my way <laughs> she's gonna be in power ranger mode Uh, vitality. Yeah, I believe it. You should too. Everybody. This shit is real. Spiritual warfare is real. And something broke through them veils. And if they eradicated something in 1980, because we haven't really seen it, and the veils done broke, that thing coming back. Because guess what? The veil is weak. We finna have an eclipse. God ain't gonna be able to see his creation, because we are going to be in the shadow. Remember what I told you? Every eclipse, you said you can go out there and you can say whatever you want to say. You can do any dumbass spell you want to do. And my spirit team, your spirit team, nobody can come at you because they, because the spirits can't see it. Now, what if you're doing your spell work and here's for your petty ass spiritualists out there that want to do bad shit? What if you do your spell work under a red light? And you're doing this evil spell work under a red light. Who knows? You might get away with it. If that person's spiritual energy ain't strong enough. You might just decimate them. How many people gonna get that red light bulb? Fuck all the trolls on this bitch. Fuck your fancy ass belief system. Fuck Christianity, fuck Islam. Think about what the fuck I'm saying, people. How many people is just going to take a chance and try something out that's have been working for the Japanese, the Europeans? What's the hurt and harm in trying? Motherfuckers fail for lack of trying. You getting this information because it was laid on me to give. And I shouldn't have to come and plead to you guys on here to order you some red light bulbs. You're going to order you some Kentucky Fried Chicken. You're going to order you a motherfucking bill. You're going to order your pizza. Use that money to order you some fucking protection for your family, for your home, for your vagina, for your penises. The news already say the measles are here. Smallpox are here. But a lot of people going to sit up there and let this go over their head. Ain't nobody paying me to sell y'all red lights because I told y'all, y'all could take a piece of silk, pillowcase, sheets, whatever, some mm -hmm. shit you got, tack it up around the light, turn on your light. So when that light shine through, you got that red illumination. If you got that red lamp by the side of your bed with the lamp shades, put it over there. You can do this. Just make the red come. Have that shit for 30 some days while this thing walking around, especially during the month of March when the veil is fucking thin and in three days, have that bitch in your house for three days. You can't stand to look at red shit for three days. If you're going to screw your person, turn on the red light, shine that bitch on the bed. Put one in your bathroom, get about six of them, put them all around your house. People, this is a warning. Don't sit up there and play pussy and get fucked by a demon because you come down with smallpox or some other goddamn shit 
and you're going to be like, whoa, I think my spirit team let me down. They just sitting up here and they don't care. Somebody put a spell on me. Somebody trying to destroy me. No, yes, then listen. I proved it to you on the Google. I proved it to you how my grandma used to handle spirits in the house when we had to go to sleep there. And now I'm telling you the science behind this shit. Shine that red light in your fucking house. If I tell you spirits can't see through red, that's called dead man light. Anything shining red, a red glow hue essence, is called dead man's light. Here's a trick. If you was to put a red light bulb in your room, any room in your house, and you turn that red light bulb on, and it's just a red light bulb in there illuminating, can you really tell what color everything turns kind of like a black or a grayish or red? You just got it, it's like your eyes adjusting, you can only see shadows and outlines. Now imagine we got human half human energy senses. So we can echo location with our minds and our third eye. Now imagine a demon that ain't got none of their senses. And you flip that red light on. They can't make out shit. Everything to them look like a red void. That way you're hidden. How those who are on their metro are going to be affected during this? Hell, wear some red panties. During the eclipse, I would put on white panties or red, but this is special because we have demons walking the earth. During the eclipse, you have demons that can influence it. These bitches are going to be walking the earth. Motherfuckers going to be trying to do spell work against you guys and hide their hand. Ladies, if you're going to be menstruating, wear some red underwear, please. Red panties, red silk. Do what you got to do to cover up your two tops and your poo poo. Brothers, it ain't going to hurt to wear some red underwear. Cover your shit up. Red loincloth. Cover your shit up, man. I'm making this kind of cute, cool, and funny, humorous, but I'm dead ass serious. Get them red lights. And if you guys on your menstruation, keep that red light. You want to be extreme, take a red, take a flashlight, put some red motherfucking uh wax papers, what you call that, that, that uh that saran wrap shit. Put some red bitch around a flashlight and put hook it to the ceiling of your car and shine it on your mm -hmm. vagina mm -hmm. as you drive women if you gotta go to work. Let the red light stay down there so no demons get to it. Joke. That's a dad joke, spiritual dad joke. Probably. Everybody, do y'all get what I'm trying to say? I'm making it funny. I'm making it enlightening, delightful. But do you get how important dead man light will be? And if you could tell me of another spiritualist out there talking about dead man light, email them to me. I would love to hear what they got to say about it. Maybe they know a little bit more. I don't know. Because I want to be protected during this time of the eclipse, during this time of 2024, this infinity style energy where the, the veil is loose and demons can walk the earth i want to be protected and if they could tell me a little bit more than what my grandma taught me i would love to know it so if you guys find anybody email it send a link to me i would gladly watch they ass but get you some red goddamn light bulbs people get you some red cloth and material red underwears men and women get you something red red socks i don't give a fuck Get something red on your goddamn body. Get some red illumination in your house, on your porch. Get it. This shit ain't playing. To show you how serious it is. Remember in the Bible when the plagues hit, those were demons walking the earth causing plague. They cut their hand, rubbed it on the wall. I, gave, I did a video about that last time when all that smoke was in New York and shit. Branded. Let them smell the blood. This time you got to do a burnt offering for those who ain't afraid to do some ebos and sacrifices and get the hands dirty. 
Second, why not put a red light bulb on your porch? Why not put a red candle on your porch? Something red to symbolize. Why not on the back of your house door, thumbtack a red cloth over the windows by the doors, over the windows there? How about you do something, people? Oh, people going to think I'm a kook. I'm religious fool. How about you get a, this is for my farmers. How about you get a baby chick, something fresh, brand new. Soon as that bitch, as soon as that shell crack. How about you get it? How about you kind of like put this blood somewhere? Hypothetical. How about you guys take goddamn precautions? Research, research, research. Do what the hell you got to do to make sure shit go good for you. That's all I'm saying. For the people out there who are going to sit up there and think their religious deity going to save them, you got to think at one point, your Jesus, your Allah, your Buddha, your worship, the thing you worship, your, all y'all strips say they walked the earth at one time. I just want you to think about something. All these things that you're putting your faith into from these religious organizations, those deities walk the earth at one time. During the eclipse, everybody's saying this, demons, angels, spirits are going to walk the earth again. So your main people are going to walk the earth again. So if you got your light side, the people that you worship, care about shit, walking the earth, who's to say the bad people that you're afraid of ain't going to walk the earth either? The bad energies. So put the light up. Let's not be fucked up with any one of them. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? I'm just trying to tell you how to think about it. Don't let no religious shit fuck with you. So for my Christians out there, for my Buddhists, my Allah, my Islamics, if you hear my voice, I don't know why you're on the channel if you're so damn religious. But if you are, this one is for you. Put a red light bulb somewhere in the house when you're praying during this time. Just try it. You ain't you ain't following hoodoo or voodoo or mysticism or spookism. Just do it. What 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 can it hurt? You believe in a God? Evidently, God got some kind of information he done downloaded to some people. Get a red light bulb. Get a red handkerchief or a red silk cloth. Put it over your light somewhere. Do the goddamn work, people. Do the fucking work. So many people be fucked up and dying. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to make a prediction. Some of these people that's so religious, Christian hearted, these are the people that's going to be resetting their motherfucking self. Some of these people that's going to be so religious, they're going to put that shit down. Oh, I'm just going to leave. Life getting so bad. This is time for me to up and go. You better live on this earth as long as you goddamn can. I ain't suicidal. I ain't going to hurt myself. I ain't going to leave. I don't give a fuck if Manbutu can Satan himself step in that bitch and start punching me in my face. Bitch, I'm going to stay till you get rid of me. Because I want my ancestors to know I, I fought for it, baby. A lot of people are going to be giving up. And you're going to think, why they gave up? They done got possessed. Now, remember I did this, and I'm going to take it all the way back. Remember I said... During the year 2024, your ancestors are going to be coming back and they're going to be overriding your program. The people who ain't got no purpose, the people who ain't got shit going on in their life, the people that don't care about nothing, don't want to do nothing. This is how you prevent that. If you want to be stuck in your fucking ways, that red light will keep that shit from getting you. The king and queen, George, this Charles fellow, King Charles and Elizabeth, they over there in Europe, you know how wicked they ass, the internet say they ass was back in the day with all the shit they did over there in the royal families. They knew how to protect their motherfucking self. During the eclipse, it's supposed to be the sacrifice of the fake king. I ain't gonna even get into that shit because that ain't my wheelhouse because I ain't with that type of shit. But then there's supposed to be a fake king. You hide the real king and then you sacrifice a, a stand-in. 
that way the king could live and reign for a longer time, you know, and the spirit say, okay, well, shit, I guess he looked good enough. He or she looked good enough. Let's take him. Woo! Because energy is energy. They knew how to cloak themselves in red. Do your research. I bet you find out where they hit them, where they hit the real king in a cell, covered him in red, smeared him in blood, all that shit made it pretend to be dead during the eclipse. Had red candles or red glass or red paint shining through or just put him in red so they couldn't see him. So let's get back to the meals. So what does the, what does this shit cost, they say? Sores, lesions on the skin. At one point, I think it was uh, HIV and AIDS doing that, right? Same symptoms. At one point, you know, I thought it was Ebola, same symptoms. At one point, I thought it was a bunch of shit. So you telling me this one demon is doing all this? And I just told you how to defeat it? If you got syphilis, I don't know what the fuck to do for you, Nickelodeon. <laughs> Maybe go get some antibiotics put in your ass. I don't know what demon called that shit. But if I call anything dealing with the ping ping and making it blister, bleed, or pus, bitch, I'm going to get me some antibiotics. <laughs> I know you don't have it. I know you just threw it up, which demon would be. I ain't saying you got it, Nickelodeon. So don't, don't, I ain't calling you out like that. But if anything happened to the boy down there, bitch, I am sitting up there in Dr. Chan's office holding it. Dr. Chan, bitch, get that needle out. But make sure you got enough of that yellow shit. I know it hurt real bad. Shoot me up. I'm going to fix that shit. I don't even know if it's a demon. I just think that just that's the luck of the motherfucking draw. <laughs> Y'all done been to college. Y'all done got burnt before. Don't think I'm the only motherfucking one. Got burnt when I was motherfucking so yeah, uh, 18. Happened again when I was 24. Told God I'd never screw that woman again. Foolish, I tell you. <laughs> I'm just being transparent. <laughs> you can use red stream solar lights uh, for the outside. Yeah, I think that'll be right, Miss Waters. I got I got the red string lights around uh my daughter and my son Matthew room. <laughs> uh, I know I'm crazy. I'm crazy, y'all. I like to cut up. I like to have fun. <laughs> oh, she say they turn on the red light when they say quiet on the set. Quiet on the set because people get taken over. They got to get into character. Lede, you got it right now. <laughs> Quiet on the set, that red light, Frank. You're right. You're right. Damn, your ex husband burned you. Hence the ex. Oh, boy, he should have known better. He should have known better. We're going to go out and cheat. Man, wear the condom. Don't worry about the wrinkled skin. Just put a little... Put a little KY jelly in the condom, put it on, then you go at it. It's like you're not even fit. It's like you don't feel the rubber. It's like nothing there. It feels like a vagina. Like it feels like, like the condom ain't even there because you got the, the lube. You ain't feeling the friction from the condom. She enjoying herself. You enjoying yourself. It's amazing. If you're going to cheat, put the gel in the condom before you put it on, man. It feels like ain't nothing there. Trust me. I'm a professional motherfucker. I'm a clown. I love it. Everybody. So I just made a couple of jokes. I had a little fun with you. How y'all, what y'all think about this? <laughs> what y'all think about this? Did I give you some helpful information? Is this something you're going to share? I'm Mary Hoser. I'm from Canada. You know, hey. Hey. Mm. 
No, this ain't Sex Magic 103. That was done a long time ago. Sex Magic number three is about sounds, harmonizing. But uh, again, we're going to get to that one on the Patreon. People, I just had to tell you that. I took a nap. I feel good. I'm editing videos right now. And I just said, let me tell these people about the red light, man. And because I, because it, it, it hit in my data bank, I'm like, why are they talking about measles and shit? And then I say, how to protect me and my kids from measles? And it's like red light. And I say, let me talk to the people about it, spirit. And that's what I did right now. Uh, uh, yeah, I do have experience working with Baron. He's a good guy. He's not the bad guy everybody say he is, but don't disrespect him. All that shit he killing people in tubs is fake. That wasn't him. That was something else. I better know who you're calling. The right incantation, the right name. What about wearing white under your red clothes? I would like, I would do that too. I only reason I'm wearing white because I'm in the house. I'm under my uh, I'm wearing white under my stuff and I'm painting my face white. Put a little mask over my face and shit. Cause I'm trying to hide as much as possible. But my house is going to have red light bulbs all around it. And I'll go live if the computer system is still up and you guys can see what I'm talking about. I go live and you guys can see and I'll show you the lights where I got them at in my house uh, on that night. Give us something to do. But yeah. People put them red lights up. Halita. Hey, Scorpio, what it is? Miss P noted, baby powder, cornstarch, eggshells. Make it, make it, I am seven, seven, seven. Make it. Put your own thing up in that motherfucker, boy. Hide yourself during this thing. Hide yourself, because you're going to hear voices. You're going to have dreams. Motherfucking spirits going to be outside your door trying to tap and get in. Don't let nobody in. You tell somebody at nighttime, don't come to my motherfucking house. Three days of darkness, who, if you're not in my house, if I haven't given you the thing to stay at my house for them days, kinfolk, no matter who he is, don't you knock on my goddamn door them days because you know what? You're a demon to me. God, you can't straight to my shit to fuck up my shit. Oh, my tire broke down. I'm hungry out here. It's a snake up my ass. You deal with that shit. When the sunlight come off to burn that shit off your ass, whatever the fuck you done watered your ass in, knock it on my door, then I'll talk to you. So three days, I told my kids, don't come to my house, boy, if your ass ain't in this dough, because they, they grew up with this. If you ain't in them doughs, don't come to my house to that sun out. Any spiritual event going on, and I, boy, you got all right to be your ass here. Can't come here during that time. Once that start, I think there's a TV series. I haven't watched it because I don't want to buy that particular screaming service, but it's, it has the brother from Oz who had the dreads in the wheelchair from Oz. I don't know his name, but I love his acting. He's the sheriff of that town, and every night they have to be in by 6 or 7 o'clock at night, or else these little uh, white folks come, and they like shape-shifting white folks, and if you got your doors locked, they can't get in. Mm -hmm. And only thing keeping them out is some little stone that you could tote with you, put it in a tent. Any kind of structure, they can't get in the structure. I've seen that movie. I mean, I've seen the little clips on the TikTok and shit. And I always think our problem with humanity is we try to be too helpful and we open our doors when we're not supposed to. And that man was so bad, he shot that dude up. He said, bitch, if you do it again, I'm going to kill you if you endanger me. I, as a man of my family, I got to make those uncomfortable decisions. So if you come to my house during that three days of darkness shit, knock it on my door for water, food, service, anything, your ass ain't getting in, you will be out that bitch. I don't care if somebody jump on you and start kicking you in your motherfucking head. I don't think you're a real person. I think you're a trick to get me out there, to get in my house, to fuck me up. Now let's talk about something else that do that type of shit to you. What about them three little homunculus bitches and kids that run around Knocking on your door, asking, can they come in? They calling the little black-eyed children. That Think about that shit, people. I'm telling you some shit. That's going to be their time to get your ass. Remember the old story high, and I'm going to help you out here. Please pay attention to what I'm saying. 
Remember the old cartoons in the movies where they used to leave a baby on the porch in a basket with a note? And you hear the baby, Wing! you open up the door, the, the lady in the movie open up the door. Hey, Jimmy, there's somebody abandoning a baby. They get in there, they grow the baby up, the whole motherfucking family. The daddy die, leaving the baby and the mama to raise each other. Then the mama die, the baby inherit the farm, the house, all the shit. And you never see that goddamn baby that was abandoned on that porch get a motherfucking husband or wife. The story end right there. <laughs> Am I pay attention to me? This is what this eclipse gonna be like. Motherfucker gonna be trying to get in your shit during them three days of darkness, whether they friend, family, or fucks. Say no. Oh, they may not like me. I may not be able to be that person. Boo, your boo somewhere else if they got some sense shacked down. If they not shacked up with you, staying in the house watching the game, you do the same. If your ass ain't in my house at this time when that bitch hit, don't you come to my shit for three days. Even if I go out my door, I'm not letting you use my bathroom. You're not getting in my car. You're not getting anywhere where I consider a dome structure. Hell, if I got to go to a building with an elevator, I'm taking the bitch by myself. And if a motherfucker get on the elevator when I'm on that bitch, I'm getting off. I'm not riding in no dome scrub. During them three days, man, I'm playing every scenario in my mind. I don't know what energy is attached to them people. Even if the demon, the, the ghost, the goblin, the goon don't come in corporeal form, it's got to have a carrier. And who's to say that thing won't be carried by some little old lady with a cane and hop on your motherfucking ass? Now you got scoliosis bent over, can't fucking stand up. Now you got erectile dysfunction because a motherfucking demon that caused that dude erectile dysfunction then hopped on your ass because you was hard-headed and didn't protect yourself with the red light, the red colors, the white underwear, the red underwear. You didn't do the shit you were supposed to do. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> how, how that little shit going around? I'm a spiritualist. Of course I take precautions. I'm a spiritualist. Of course I challenge everything I see that don't look good to me. I'm a spiritualist. Of course, when I see a snake run past me, I think a bitch put a spell on me. Think like that. During this time, everything and everybody is out to get you. And the things and the people you think is out to get you, it may not be them. It may be that thing impressing upon your subconscious mind and upon your spiritual soul to take you out some form of fashion because the devil is coming to kill, steal, and destroy. Let's get the religion out of it. It ain't the devil coming to, to kill, steal, and destroy. It's your direct oppositions coming to kill, steal, and destroy. Let's take your direct oppositions out of it. It's that doubt, depression, fear, hatred, murder coming to kill, steal, and destroy you and yours. Protect yourself, people. Guard yourself, people. You can't say you didn't get the message. Can't say you ain't get the tip. It's uh, 131 of you guys on this bitch right now. And only 39 likes. Y'all treat me so bad. God damn, y'all treat me bad, people. Treat me good. Treat me like a human. Treat me like a human. <sighs> Just treat me good, people. Instead of puff up pads, I'll be... <laughs> Pump, pump, spray. <laughs> hey, everybody, I made it a little funny for you. But hey, this is the rules, baby. This is what's going down. Protect yourself. Think of any and everything that can destroy you, the people that you hate, the people that you love. And if you lock them shits out, if you lock that shit out and you be securing your shit, and you protect yourself, your family, your loved one, the people in your walls. I don't care who it is. I'm not letting you in my house. I'm sorry. Buckle down with your people. You're not coming in my motherfucking house, man. During those days, stay your ass on. You may be there prior. Your ass ain't going to be there during them days. So sit your ass down because you ain't going to get me to come out that bitch to help you. My mama did and my daddy know his ass going to be in the house because we talked about this. He ain't going to be out roaming. My daddy say, boy, the sky going to get dark. Yep, I'm going to be in the house. That's what he told me. I said, you sure? Yep. 
I ain't gonna call you for nothing. I say, thank you, Dad. Done deal. That's the whole conversation the other day when I went over to his house the other day. I know what you're coming for. I say, you so? Boy, it's gonna be dark. I'm gonna be in the house. I ain't gonna call you for nothing. It ain't gonna be me. Okay, you sure, Dad? Yep, I'm sure. I took off. I ain't got no more to say. He an old head. He know about the shit. We Southerners. We know this type of shit. I am seven cents say everything closed there. What they get start? Magical rhinestone. Uh, I'm gonna say I ain't gonna look at the eclipse happening on the eighth to start my ritual. I'm starting that bitch the first of the month, and I'm gonna keep it going on to the end of the month. Cause everything dissipates in 30 days. It takes a spirit can linger around you for 30 to 31 days. It can linger around you that long before, and it's going to find a way to attach because we go through a lot of emotions every throughout those uh, 30 days. Love, hatred, fear, destruction, all that shit. And with that being said, you have to be very, you have to be very mindful of everything you say and do to people. If you can't handle people cursing you out, don't, don't talk to a people. If you know somebody going to sit up there and vex your soul, don't listen to that YouTube, but don't listen to that motherfucking Instagram. Don't listen to that TikTok. Listen to something totally good to make you make you harmonize with peace. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna read no comments. Uh, matter of fact, I'm turning off the comments uh, during that time. I don't care what you say. The comments will be off. You guys won't be able to curse me out or say no fuck shit. I don't want to put that shit in my psyche. I don't want nothing to get inside my energy field. Y'all should try the same, YouTubers, mm -hmm. spiritualists. Y'all the ones got to protect the people. And for my spiritualists out there, they're going to be coming for y'all direct. If you think you got a little bit of enlightenment, your third eye halfway open. You done, you done start eating veganistic shit. You done start your meditation and prayer. You're doing yoga. You're doing Reiki. Y'all people, tarot readers, preachers, spiritualists. They're going to come for you first because you are the leaders of the community. People listen to you. They're going to come for people like me because I got a platform. I'm protecting myself so I don't come on here with some different, with a different personality and put it on the fact that I'm healed from all my baby mamas and ex-wives and girlfriend that hurt me. So now I got to be an asshole, trashy ass Negro. I got to treat women like shit. I got to treat my own homeboys like shit. I got to be tough and that. That'll be some demon that then got into me. You're going to see me just like this before the fact, after the fact. I'm telling you some good shit. That those entities are going to use whatever doubt, fear, depression, anxiety you have to fuck you over. You think your boo thing cheating on you? You think your husband and wife cheating on you? You think your, butt, your business partner stealing from you? You think the people on your job want to hurt you? They're going to use all that shit. Be positive. Even if they knock your shit on the ground, damn it, say spirit didn't want me to eat it. It might were poison. Might have made me sick. Come up with something to tell yourself to stay in good spirits during these three days of darkness. And then afterwards, you can start, you know, making a list to fuck a bitch up later. If that's where your energy at. But I, I, I'm just telling you how I'm going to handle mine. I don't know how you're going to handle yours during these during the spiritual awakening where they trying to hide the real king and and sacrifice the fake king and people i don't want to be sacrificed for no dumb shit i ain't gonna open my door for no three-eyed little black eyed kids coming knocking on that bitch whether they black white chinese haitian or jamaican i ain't opening my door I ain't open my door for my daddy i ain't open the door for my son i ain't open the door for my boo thing i ain't doing none of that shit Go home. Go home. Wait till the sun come out. Come over here in the, in the daybreak. Don't bring your ass over here. Hell, I might not even answer the motherfucking phone. I'm going to read some of these comments while I get off the bed. A lot of groups of people are going to be outside drinking and getting high just so the demons could take them over. Because they're going to be impaired. So here's the thing. And before I let you go, people, if you guys are spiritualists, I guarantee 
and I want, and I'm going to just see for the people on here, it's 126 on here for the people that's on here. And you guys got a spiritual energy about yourself. Has it been during these time, the last two, three weeks that if you start drinking liquor, you start drinking anything, anything that alters the mind that you've been feeling sick, that you drink it and you want to throw up or you get a hangover just from one cup, one sip. It's like your body won't let you take it. Your mind won't let you. It's like it don't even fuck with your mind no more. You can't even catch a fucking buzz, but you get sick. I went to a to a Shriners event the other day and I couldn't even finish my liquor, y'all. I couldn't finish the cup. It's like they don't want me high. They don't want me incapacitated. Miss Davis, hey, they don't want me incapacitated. Uh, Stephen Scott, uh, April the 8th, at any time after April the 8th is the three days of darkness. So people think about this shit. Why is your body as a spiritualist, anybody who has a spiritual community energy, enlightened, why is your body rejecting intoxication? Why have you decided to put down your blunt? Only thing they let people do is psychedelic mushrooms because nothing take over during psychedelic. That's you. And I'm not doing no psychedelic mushrooms. I never have. And I don't want to. But the drinking, the stobalt marijuana that's laced with Lil Fitney, all that shit is, is demon. Look at all them people in Philadelphia, skid row, on the side of the road, zombies, no purpose. Imagine them three days of darkness and them people outside. Son, them people going to be attacking people. Them demons going to get in them people, man, and they're going to be fucking people up. Protect yourself, people. Arm yourself, people. Stay the fuck in the house, people. Protect your loved ones. If you got a person out there on drugs, grab their ass and tie them to the motherfucking bed for three, four days. Keep them safe. Do what you got to do, people. But I'm not going to be getting drunk. All that look in there, I got some good premium shit. I can't even sip it. I don't even like the taste of it unless I'm doing spiritual work. And then it tastes like Kool-Aid to me. I don't even taste the burn. So it ain't for me. It ain't for me. So I'm just telling you ass. I am seven say it's the purge. I stopped drinking the past few months. That's what I'm saying. It's a reason. Y'all spirituals, y'all listen to spiritual people. Even the spiritual people that don't know what they're talking about, they know what they're talking about because it's coming from a spiritual source, inspiration. And I'm telling you, the liquor is making people bad. And let me tell you something. Out of the two genders, out of the two genders, who drank the most liquor, people? Who, who bodies absorbed the most liquor? Women. Who carried the most emotion? Women. And you telling me who, who, who can control the masculine energy on a daily basis? Women. So if you're a spiritual woman, baby, lay off that liquor. Lay off that liquor if you can. Lay, put the blood down. If you got to get high, fuck with a mushroom. Spiritual men, do not drink. If you got anger issues, do not drink. If you fighting whole ass spirit demons, do not get intoxicated, man. Hold off. Go dry for the three days. Try to go dry for the month. Don't let that demon control you there. End up doing some shit and you black out. I didn't know I did it. I don't think they expire. I got damn mushroom been in there for a year. I ain't even fuck with it. They, it was given to me. I ain't fucking with it. I'm scared. I'll try putting the cigars down. <laughs> I think you can hit a black and mild. A, a, a little weed joint. I mean, if you're going to be in your shit, but you got red light. I know I am 777 got red lights all over her spot. Listen, she done got reading. We done talked. She got red lights everywhere. She been doing, she been living like this 
So I know I ain't talking to her. <laughs> I ain't talking to you, I am seven. You've been living this way, goddammit. <laughs> You've been living this way. So yeah. It went as far for me as spirit saying stop smoking in the house. People, I'm telling you, liquor is making us sick because we're spiritualists. We're not supposed to be drinking this shit. We're supposed to be drinking it during ceremony. I'm just saying, I ain't going to be drinking no alcohol, no nothing. Parties, gatherings, I'm, bitch, I'm drinking soda water. <laughs> so how do they soda water? <laughs> I love it. I love it. So that's all what I'm trying to tell you people. I'm trying to get you together. I'm trying to get you right. I want you guys to be happy and safe. Sparkling water for me. You know it. I've hit in all my alcohol and shoe pots so my family stay dry. <laughs> uh, I like Lily Rose, what's up? <laughs> say the water. Terra Hotlanta, what you got to say? I have a full bookshelf of alcohol. I drink every now and then. Just try not to drink that much. But if you start getting sick, that spirit telling you to put it down. They want you clear. I couldn't, I couldn't drink a half a cup. I was sick as hell. I, I was not feeling good on the drive home from the little ball I went to the other day. Not feeling good at all. We we they trying to purify our bodies. That and have you noticed, people? Another thing for our, uh, the spiritualist people out there. Even when you just getting into it, have you noticed that you haven't been wanting to eat as much? You used to eat big plates of food, and your appetite then got down, and then you be forgetting to eat. You think to yourself, "Damn, did I eat?" And you don't even know if you're hungry or full. You damn, did I eat something? And then you go in there, you prep your something, you just eat half of the bowl. And then you're like, I ain't even hungry. Again, this is spirit trying to create, rid your body. I'm on a motherfucking fast. I'm getting me some fruit up in me. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm eating very light. So damn light. I'm eating very light. I don't know why. I just ain't got the appetite to eat. I'm eating very light. I'm drinking a lot less goddamn alcohol. I don't want to touch this shit. I ain't even taking my little gummies, Delta Ace. I ain't doing nothing. I'm pure minded, pure spirit. Hearing less and wanting fresh juice. Yeah, fresh fruit, fresh juice. People, it's a reason your body reacting because we're about to be activated. And don't let nobody tell you that again, don't let nobody go to the whole cultural thing and the racial thing. It's we're too fucking mixed up, melanated and tribes and fucked each other over different countries you know that stand for something don't let it say oh only the black folks gonna get elevated to the highest heights of the highest heights and they're gonna burn off all the white folks i've been hearing people talk about that and that shit is irking my goddamn nerve i got two biracial motherfucking kids tell yeah i'm putting you in my business i'll be damned if i let spirit god source anything burn them down just because they got white baby mo uh, white mamas fuck that shit that's an idiotic ass terminology if i ever heard it to the date We're about to be awakened. Prep yourself. Before April, do a three-day fast. Drink nothing but water. Do a 24-hour fast if you can help it. Don't eat for a full day. Eat some light crackers and water or make you just a one peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hold off to late night when you're going to sleep. Take your sleep aid. You know, some melatonin to get you to sleep so you don't have to eat. Do something just to starve the body a little bit before that eclipse come. Because you want to be on your P's and Q's, people. You don't want to have the itis. Food is a drug, too. You're going to stuff yourself with big plates of food, pizza, and all that shit, though. Garbage food from the McDonald's and the Burger Kings and shit. And then you're going to have all this E. coli in your system. Not E. coli. E. coli. That makes you shit. Well, they call it colace, but I call it E. coli. Because it got to go through the whole damn environment on the body. I'm not a bodyologist over here. 
but you're going to have all them toxins and fake foods and shit in your system. Not to mention it's going to fuck up your pineal gland by calcifying the bitch and putting, you know, microplastics and fibers on your shit. Try to get that shit out your system, man. Take a parasite detox. I got some in the Paragard. Drop that motherfucker in there, man. Do Drop it in your water. Do something. Just let spirit know you want them to assist you in this journey. So you want to be halfway protected or you want to have your guardian angels come over you and protect your household, even though they won't be able to get to you direct until this thing is over. Man, just try something. I may sound like a kook. I may sound crazy. But people, I'm not fucking with you, man. I'm telling you some good shit. This is some shit you should listen to, people. You should do. Very, 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 very say, I just got here. <laughs> just send me the paragraph, Baron. <laughs> just send it to me, Baron. Just send it to me. That's the $40 a bottle. Make your poop smell like fucking medicine, I can tell you that. And I ain't see all them damn bugs and sticks and shit come out my ass like they say. I ain't see none of that shit. None of it. I just know that my poop wasn't stinking. It was smelling like a medicine doctor's medicine office and shit. So that let me know they got to the colon and rushed that bitch out. <laughs> Diamante. <laughs> y'all crazy. I'll be telling y'all too much information. I'm a goddamn clown. Everybody, listen. Protect yourself. I'm finna let you go. Y'all done seen my little ugly mug long enough. I'm finna let you go, people. Just a recap real quick for the people that just walked in. Woo! Come on, spirit. Got work to do tonight. So, for the people that just walked in, get your red light bulbs, people. Try to put as many red light bulbs around your house. Keep them red light bulbs burning in these rooms for 30 days. If you don't want to purchase no red light bulb, get your red uh, silk sheets. I know y'all got some red old pillow, pillowcases. I know women, y'all got red lingerie you ain't using. You probably ain't hunting your people. Put that motherfucker over that lampshade. Thumbtack that bitch up around the light fixtures in your house and stuff. Just illuminate your, 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 your living space red. I'm putting one on my front porch, back porch. I'm going to side side of the house. Everywhere I got light bulbs at, I'm going to do what I got to do to protect myself. Put them in your kid's room. Put them next to your bed if you're going to be fucking, sleeping, sucking or screwing. Keep that shit burning while you fucking put it. Burn it before, burn it after. If you can't keep it on while you're doing it, they mess with your partner. Put it on right after they leave. Get that shot on your bed. Get that shit up out that room. Okay? That energy. Uh, when you're all white during the three days of the eclipse, or if you want to keep away the measles demon that's going to try to make you sick in your family, that red light bulb is good for that. Google it yourself. Japanese, they talk about it more than any other Google site. Get that red light, get them red clothes on your ass to keep away any kind of diseases that kind of cause you lesions, all that type of stuff. The measles, it's, a, it's an actual entity, people, for the people who just came in here. Red is the only thing you get afraid of. Red light, red clothes, that type of stuff. So put on your red and all that good stuff there. Spiritualists, lay off the drink. Only during ceremonies. Keep yourself vigilant. Do not open your door for anybody during these three days of eclipse that you really don't trust. And I ain't at this point in the game, I ain't trusting none of them. I ain't trusting none. I don't talk to the people I need to talk to. Don't knock on that door. Don't you knock on my door. You will be looking real shitty. I don't knock on that door. Mm-mm. By using the rose under the red light. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, use the rose under the red light. Let's just spell all them demons when they come out. Ah! Whew. Get a real relief. I ain't gonna masturbate during that time. Fuck that. Oh, I want to keep all my semen. I want to retain every drop I motherfucking got. 
I ain't put none of my energy out there. I got to wash my hand. They got to run down the drain. If I touch anything, I don't know what's in the drain. I don't know if it's a demon going to be hiding in the drain trap. Fuck that. No. <laughs> I'm a real man, y'all. It is what it is. I'm a real man. Oh, my God. TMI. All right. I, I, I redact that. Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let me stop having fun with you guys. Do your research. I done gave you the information. Go back and watch this. If you know somebody who could benefit from this video, uh, stitch it, cut it in half, chop it, cut it, share it, put it out there on your TikTok, your Instagram platform. I don't mind. If you could tag me in it, if you do it, that'd be great. But hey, do what you got to do, people, to protect yourself and your loved ones and your friends. Even if you got a spiritualist that don't know this type of shit, share it with them. We don't know everything. I don't know every trick of the trade. I just know what I was taught by my grandmama. And I think, and my spirit told me to give it to you guys. That's what I did. Much love. All right. <laughs> Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, everybody. I am the Baron telling you guys to trust the you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel right here. Like, share, and subscribe to it. Also, go to my True Spook channel on YouTube, True Spook TV. Like, share, and subscribe to that motherfucker too. It's well worth it. All right, everybody, take care. God bless. Much love. Y'all be safe. I'm going to be praying for you. Love you all.